Hey, uh, real quick, before we do anything, I got two things we gotta do. I do a really bad podcast called Cut the Tape, and for like the last six years, there's been no intro to it. So Lucas is gonna record everyone, and on the count of three, I need everyone to say, Cut the Tape, and that's gonna be the intro to the show. Okay, so one, two, three. Cut the tape! Lucas, did you get that? Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. Hello and welcome to another episode of Cut the Tape. Yes, Cut the Tape is back with a special edition. I'm Rick Alvarez. Welcome. I'm here at the world famous frame and picture shop in Wilbraham, Massachusetts. We can frame all your Transformer stuff or other stuff. I don't care. Just bring money. So, uh, I have a box of different things. I thought I'd go through them. All right. This is the easiest thing to open because it's not in a box. This is my trans rights uh, Cybertronic Spree t-shirt from Nakatomi. So, uh, support your trans rights. I got a t-shirt, I'm gonna wear it. Love the Cybertronic Spree. All right, next thing is in a bag, not in a box. And this is, a, I believe, a bag in a bag. Yes, this is my Transformers Pride Month bag, officially licensed, be proud, be you. I thought it's really cool that they uh, finally made something that speaks to, uh, you know, it's not, it's a community thing. It's not a, uh, it's not a, you know, a brand thing. That makes sense. So, I thought this was really cool. Be proud, be you, and support trans rights. Look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna combine the two. Oh, it fits, it ships. All right. I wish the bag was a little actually better quality. You can see all the, I don't know if that's, seems to be residue from the adhesive from the bag being folded over. Not crazy about that. Poor quality bag. All right, this is something I got because uh, Rise of the Beast Machines is out. And I got this because I didn't have it and I thought, oh, I should have that because it's a movie promotion thing. And after I bought it, I realized, oh, that's actually for Bumblebee, not for Rise of the Beasts, but it's actually a little Bumblebee figure that came in theaters. This came out during the movie and I, I'd never seen it before or I would have gotten it back then. Theater promotional stuff, you wanna you wanna get that. You, you always wanna get the stuff that's time sensitive. Some people say, start with the most expensive item, work your way down. I say, start with time sensitive stuff. It's always a lot easier to get it when it's available than to track it down later. So, that being said, this is Veterinardi. So this company makes um, golf stuff. Transformers officially licensed golf stuff. You know, I hit the website as soon as it opened. I'll show you the inside of the box actually. And everything was sold out. $2,000 clubs sold out. A nice little robotic wizard thing there with the car, just talking about the company, not about actually having Transformers branded equipment. Uh, so, I don't play golf, but you know, time sensitive. So I went, I thought I'll get a golf club. Golf club was 2000 bucks, sold out instantly. I was able to get a hat.
this hat has nothing about transformers on it. There's nothing transformers related about this hat in any way, shape, or form. This will be one that we send a very angry email about. Speaking of hats, I did get the Porsche hat. I think I showed that to you guys. All right, what is it? Ah. Transformers, leader of the Autobots, Optimus Prime popcorn holder again. It's movie related, so it's time sensitive. You could buy this in the theaters, but if you buy it from the AMC website, it actually comes in a box. Same thing as the big uh, trailer. Trailer actually comes in a box. Oh, that is cool. That is really cool. I have the trailer on the way, and then I also have uh, the bust. I think it's from Korea. It's This sits on top of an Optimus Prime chest. This is way bigger than I was expecting. Let's... Oh. Oh. There's... There's lights inside of it, so you can light up the eyes. Cinemark. This was available through Cinemark. Wow. That is crazy good. Super detailed. The quality is way, way better than I was expecting. Woo! Super, super crazy. Crazy good. That's going to go in my Optimus display case. Back into the box. And the last thing, I believe this is from Mattel. It's not Transformers related, but I am happy that Mattel and Hasbro are playing well together and that the Micro Machines line is canceled to make room for official Transformers Hot Wheels. So let's celebrate that partnership by opening up Wondar. Wondar originally was a character that you would get through the Wonder Bread mail-in back in the early 80s. And here he is, carded in all his beauty. There was never an original Masters of the Universe Wondar card. So this, in the spirit of that, is trying to say, this is what the card would have looked like. Back's a little disappointing just because it's not an actual Motu or Masters of the Universe card back. I thought this box was gonna be a little bit like the Cobra Khan box, a little more razzle dazzle, not so plain, which is why I selected it for today's event. Boy, hand me the Optimus Prime model. You're not allowed to be on film. Uh, I got the second Agora Transformers model kit. Uh, I'm still putting together the first one. It's just a matter of time. But I was so impressed by all the electronics and the die cast and the quality of it, I signed up for a bunch more Aurora model kits. I got the first part to my DeLorean, which I have not put together. So this is what we're looking at. This is the chest of Optimus, I believe. Yep. Up the chest. So the first part was the head. The head will sit on the chest. At the end of all the kits, I'll have a four foot tall Optimus Prime that is metal and has electronics in it and just wonderful. So, please remember to wash your hands, get vaccinated, vote. 
adopt animals from shelters. And uh, I will see you guys at TFCon where I'll be selling a whole bunch of framed, professionally framed by me, Transformers artwork and memorabilia. Um, all right, see you then. Shortcut tape.